Sorry! I'm trying to build you a fruit juice stand. You can't stand in the way of progress. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Parkitect. Back still in Archipelago Adventures. This is a tough scenario to finish. We've long ago lost our optional goals. We're just trying to concentrate on the regular goals. And right now, the biggest issue is maintaining profitability. We're, we're making money. There's no problem with us making money. But the goal is to maintain a profit of 1500 Now, we've reached it in the past a few times, but it's very hard to hold on to it. And right off right off the bat here right as we're opening this episode i'm seeing a whole bunch of trash cans here and by a whole bunch i mean one that aren't being attended to and quite a lot of vomit in this area what is this a particular zone or is this one of my weird little dmz's here give me zones ah yeah that trash can strangely just sort of falls outside of a zone it's in a weird dmz there okay um, I think, I think it's a wage I don't want, but I think in the long run, we're going to benefit more by hiring another janitor and you're just going to be free roaming. You just go wherever you feel the need, like maybe down to this vomit here. That would be good. If you wanted to go grab that vomit, that would be fine. So between recordings, just before I started recording, I, I kind of just went through some of the shops and gently nudged the prices up a little bit. Nothing crazy, nothing ridiculous, just nudged the prices up. And some of our rides, like what do people broadly think of the car ride? It was awesome. I want to go on car ride. Maybe you guys could pay a little bit more for this. I just want to gently nudge some prices up. Ferris wheel in particular, this thing just kills it. So why don't you guys pay a little bit more for that? Anything else that's got uh, that uh, the double Ferris wheel rather, not the regular Ferris wheel. Oh, my park was showcased by a popular content creator. Well, super. I hope it was one of the nice ones and not the jerky ones who swear a lot. Ha, uh, carousel. What are, we haven't looked at you in ages. Yeah, we're only charging 250 for you. I think we could get that up to three bucks. That's fine. Not a lot of action on, what is this, Twister? Yeah, 320, that's probably basically okay. And how about my weird roller coaster here? How's that doing? What's the broad opinion on that? Steel coaster was awesome. Okay, good. I'm charging a fair bit for that already, but let's just nudge that up a tiny tiny little bit and one thing that i constantly forget and somebody reminded me we did a a live stream of park attack uh well yesterday as i'm recording this i don't know when this video will go out but somebody reminded me that i constantly forget is i can charge for the bathrooms i totally forget that i can do this oh they're pretty dirty too hmm well, you know what? It's a toilet. What are, you, what are you going to expect in a theme park? Yeah, I totally forgot I can charge for the bathrooms. I'm not going to go nuts with it, but maybe maybe it costs you 50 cents if you need to relieve yourself. Maybe it costs you 50 cents. How about that? It's not a small price to pay. A small price to pay. So I think we need to keep plugging along in terms of expanding the park. I really can't rest on my laurels and hope that I'm magically going to get above 1500 in profit, although the money is coming in. We are making money. In fact, I'm going to take, seeing as we're up to 1800 right now, I'm going to shave a little bit more. Oh, I've only got a thousand left. Great. Well, we can just bang this out right now then. Uh, we can just finish this loan off right now and blammo. There we go. There we go. So we have no loans left. We have no bank debt. And that is one of our goals. So that's another part of the goals that we have achieved. And I don't think with the money that's coming in, I don't see that I'm going to have to take a bank loan in the future. I think I can kind of just let things tick along as they go. Well, let's start this little new island with a path here. Uh, here, actually. And a path here. And let's just bring that along. Now, I have to have a little bit of think about what am I going to put in here. I know there's nothing for you guys over there right now, but you know, while I'm just happen to be looking at it, let's throw down some benches for you guys as you take that long walk in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, a bus dropped off 33 Torbalon fans. Well, they're joining a very long line. Torbalon pretty much kills it. I should raise the price on Torbalon, actually. 
33 new Turbalon fans, they can pay a little bit more for Turbalon. Yeah, that, that line is out the door right now. Wow. Well, it's not completely full. Okay, you guys are paying 6 for this. How about you paid like 630 for that? I don't want to completely jack it up, but just nudging it up in a positive direction is what I'm going for here. Now, what the heck is going to live on this island? Oh, somebody lost their balloon. So go buy another one. I just nudged the price up on it. Go buy another balloon. And where are my, as I'm kind of mentally planning this out, where are my tunnels in relation to all of this? There's a set of shops here, so I could take the tunnel from there over to this new area. That would not be too onerous to do. Or, oh, I could just swing it in from over here as well. So either way, I can get tunnels going where I need them to go. Okay, get me out of that for right now. What I'm going to start to do is some basic terraforming here and flatten this all out and then figure out what I want to put in there. All right, so everything there is flattened out and terraformed and I also took a second to run the tunnel from the delivery area over to here. I don't really know what's going to live over here yet, but at least I've got the tunnels in place if we want to do something over there. Now, see, my profit just skyrocketed to 2000 uh, just slow it down. Why did that happen? What what happened that we just skyrocketed to 2,000? It seemed to be largely on admissions. Oh, you know what? That was probably those Turbalon maniacs coming in. Okay, that, that makes some degree of sense. Yeah, we had a huge jump in admissions. Um, I'm looking at, well, let's actually get this where I can see it properly here. Uh, give me not ex not the thing that I'm looking at right now. Give me this thing. Okay, so we just got into April, so obviously April is nothing. But yeah, we went from 1900, 1600, and then 2000 on admissions. I wonder if the bulk of those is the new Turbalon people coming in uh, for ride for, to ride Turbalon, basically to get on Turbalon. Park admissions also huge skyrocket there. I got to figure that's that's busload of turbul on people because I haven't done anything else to get that many people in the door. But, you know, cool. That's great. Um, that That's a very healthy amount of money. I don't think we're going to be able to hold that for two months like this thing is saying. That just doesn't seem realistic. I mean, I suppose I could gamble and just not do anything at all because, you know, every dollar that I spend is just going to lower that number. But... Um, Jeez, now I'm now I'm kind of in limbo. I'm kind of in limbo there. Do I keep building or do I just hold tight and hope that number stays steady? Ooh, dunno, dunno at all. Well, right now I'm working on a broad plan of complete and utter paralysis. I've I've just done nothing for the last few game days, weeks, whatever it is. Wipeout is broken. Okay. Um, and there's more trash, too. Yeah, no, more full trash barrels. I wonder if that's also in my weird little DMZ. No, it shouldn't be, actually. That should be zoned out. So I've basically done nothing and hoped for the best. But we do need to keep their experience rating up, too. I don't think it would kill us to have another mechanic just free roaming if things are starting to break down more often. And probably another janitor is not that's going to lower my overall profitability but not by enough it's not the make or break numbers here so just give me a go anywhere janitor just wander around do whatever you need to do some of you are zoned some of you are free roaming hopefully all of the trash will get picked up and actually if you want to uh clean the toilets while you're out there that would be good. I, it couldn't possibly be something as simple as me just charging for the toilets. That could not be what skyrocketed our profits. Although, if it is, just in case, maybe it's 70 cents to use the toilet now. Boy, that's a fidgety number to pull out of your pockets. I mean, two quarters is easy, but 70 cents. Now you got quarters and dimes, maybe some nickels kicking along in there. And if you're in a hurry, which you probably are, um, that's that's fussy. That's, that's going to cause some more cleaning issues around the toilet area. Yeah, kind of what I thought. The second we went into May, the profitability just crashed. I think we got a big boost from that. Well, I assume the Torbalon bus, but... Um, yeah, we just crashed our profits down to 1100 so we're not meeting our goals right now. But 
overall profitability is up. I think charging for the toilets was the wisest thing I've done in this scenario so far. Well, at the very least, letting that month tick by, we've got a ton of money now. We've got a whole bunch of money, so let's build something. Let's keep the punters coming in. We've never done turbine because it was so stupidly expensive, but I can actually afford that now. Dear Lord, that thing is huge. My God, this thing is just enormous. Let's put you um here, and let's put your queue over here, and your exit can live over here. Okay, uh, just get out of my way for right now. Let's get a queue going on over there. Uh, something maybe in a completely light green, because why not? And go there, 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 and there. Let's have a nice long queue for that. And then give me, you can go away for right now. Give me the regular path to go there. Thank you very much. Let's turn this on. Let's, well, immediately bump up. Well, actually four bucks. Let's see how busy it gets. Let's see how busy it's gonna get there. Let's make sure we save a little money on the maintenance, but let's also make sure that people get over here quicker. Why would a human wanna ride this? This is just silliness. That That's not even a ride. That's a kitchen tool that's somehow been elongated and put on some motors and gears. All right. Everyone's coming into, what is this again? Turbine, not Turbalon, not the great and powerful Turbalon. Oh, let's make sure you wait until you are full, please. Yeah, wait until you're full. Looks like this thing's going to get some action. And let's also, seeing as it does look like it's going to get some action, let's go ahead and bump that up to, say, 450. There we go, 450. And seeing as we've added a new ride and we're going to add some more stuff, let's get the overall entry feed up to 8 bucks. That seems fair and reasonable. Now, 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 now. I kind of want to put, how much money do I have? A grand? Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of decoration in this area, and then the overall goal be to put some more shops over here, and then another ride over here, and hope that does it. Because after this, we're going to have to expand the boundaries of the park. We're going to actually have to buy some land. We've used up all the space that we've got in a what I would broadly consider to be a moderately efficient way. We've really packed a lot of stuff into these very, very tiny islands. Oh, yeah. Turbine's getting a lot of action, a lot of action. All right, let's get let's do some fences over here. I like putting the fences down. How about this sort of trellisy fence? Uh, Turbalon is broken again, uh, again with Turbalon. How about we do some of this and this and this? Maybe I need to hire yet another mechanic. That's not the stupidest idea in the world. Uh, you can live there and you can live here. That looks a lot nicer. Now, what do we want to do for... Let's, let's have this be a different fence. What kind of different fence could we put in there? Maybe this one? Actually, give me... Do we want the sort of industrial grade wire fence no that's not very pretty although i'm sure the guests probably don't care they just like a fence i'm sure they don't really care what fence but just in case they do and for my own personal aesthetics we're not going to do the chain link fence that that get all of these then i'll slap a few trees down around here it'll all look lovely well, we've got another big push, a big influx here. I'm not quite sure where that one came from. I didn't hear about any tour buses pulling in, but we're back above our goals. We just need to hold it for two months, and I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. We seem to dip sharply at the end of the month. How about a giant rock needs to live there? Absolutely. And, and a small rock to go right next to it. Yay, small rock. Okay. Now what? Um, I kind of need to take the path over here. I should start, because the money's there. Should start getting some... Oh, Turbalon is broken again. Turbalon just keeps going down. Okay, uh, get me over to Turbalon, please. Let's see what the issue is over here. How about we break our commenter's rule here and actually give you a full maintenance budget? Or at least, how about 75%? People are over here every 10 minutes to check on it. Uh, do I really need another mechanic? I mean, I guess the answer is yes, because Turbalon's getting no action right now. But we'll bump up your maintenance budget a little bit. Maybe that'll help you to break down less, is my thought. 
If you are maintained at a better budget, you might break down less. Maybe we use nicer, shinier parts. Maybe we use the actual manufacturer's parts instead of aftermarket parts. Who knows? But turbine's doing well. How did we do? I mean, I know this side of it is complete garbage, but broadly, how did we do on our decoratives here? Okay, yeah, we're, we're heading in the right direction. And did I turn the research team back on? Apparently I did. No, it's paused. It's still paused. Okay, that's fine. Continue to still be paused, please. I want to set up some more shops over here so I've got better ways to gouge money out of people. Yeah, while I've got the two grand for the depot, I may as well spend it. It just seems to make sense. So go ahead and spend that. And where did I put that tunnel? Somewhere over here-ish. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, oh, I'm going to have to fidget with that. So actually, can you just come up to here? There we go. Okay, that got that. Uh, you just don't have a path. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure your tunnel was connected. Tunnel can be a little fidgety to run sometimes. All right, that all works. Good. Now, I know you don't have an employee path. Don't panic. I'm gonna, gonna start to learn to deal with that. Um, how about, what are we going to do for shops down here? Well, people seem to have a problem getting something to drink. So let's get that covered. And thank you while I'm doing this to the comments section. I was concerned that I would need a staff room for every zone because the staff would not go... They wouldn't leave their zone was my thought. That was my assumption. And no, apparently if they really need a break, they will go and find any staff room, even if it's outside of their zone. So I don't really need to sweat a staff room in here quite as much. I mean, if I can get one, that's great, but I don't need to go nuts on putting a staff room in here um, because they will travel for that. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I'm out of money. Okay, that's that's totally fair. That's 100% fair. I just spent a lot of money there. Uh, do I have enough to put the employee path down? That would be pretty sweet if I did. Uh, like that, and the employee needs somewhere to get out onto the regular path, and we need to add these three shops here. I have some free roaming haulers. Ooh. Um, oh, first of all, turn this on. There we go. Unpause that. I have some free roaming haulers, but I should really think about designating this as a new zone. I know you guys hate that. I know you totally hate it. I'm going to try and cope with that reasonably soon, as soon as the money starts ticking in, which it kind of is right at this exact second. Now, could I at least maybe get a bench in there for the employees? That'll at least help a little bit with the tiredness thing. Yeah, you can have a bench over there, and I should have plenty of money to put some walls up right now. So let's get this place looking a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna make a whole new zone like this. That'll put some things in a weird little DMZ, just that little bit of the path, but that's fine. I want a hauler just for here, and you are going to work in zone six, please. Yes, your entire life is dedicated to zone six, so please get those shops stocked up reasonably quickly if you could. We're still... hmm... We're above our profit. Have we lost something in our customer satisfaction? Yeah, we've dipped down to 67%. We need 70. Okay. Um, do we have a broad plan as to, or idea as to why that is? Can't get something to eat. Really? Well, there's a lot of shops around here, man. I'm not... If you can't do the basics by yourself, I'm really not sure how to help you. Um, give me some toilets here. And another one uh, buh, 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 here. Yeah, do that. Give me some paths here. ba -doom, like that. And now let's pretty up the bathrooms a little bit. And this area will start to get a little more fleshed out. And another janitor is not going to hurt our overall customer satisfaction. So why don't you go right there and janitorize that area if you could please. Threw down some more benches, got the toilets prettied up a little bit. Uh, let's put the scenery back on, there we go. And you're still paying 70 cents to use that toilet. Yeah, there's 70 cents right there. And another 70 cents on the cowboy hat coming out. Good, good. So this guy's getting this stocked up. He's working on that. And now, just have to think about what else to do. Oh, now we've got the money. Now we don't have the customer satisfaction rating. Ugh, that is fussy. 
Yeah, now we're stuck in a bit of a holding pattern with our experiences rather than the money. And the only thing that's dragging us down in any way, I mean, it's broadly really good. We're 100% happiness, tiredness, decoration, 100%. Cleanliness is even 96%. It's just, I guess, hunger is a little bit down and thirst. Now, see, we're back up again at the um, satisfaction level. Our profit is still above the 1500 mark. I guess I can just throw down, if they're desperate for more shops, I can do that. I can get more things for people to be eating and drinking. I I feel I've got plenty, but apparently not. And boy, turbine's really kicking butt here, isn't it? Why don't you guys pay a little bit more for that? Just in case, is there anything else I can do to get people in and out of here faster? Um, could bring it down to three rounds instead of four, but no, let's, seeing as the experience rating is what we're kind of struggling with right now, as opposed to the money, which we were struggling with earlier, let's just make sure that people are super happy about the rides that they're in. Okay, all of these shops have finally been stocked up. That's good. Maybe that will help with, okay, yeah, there we go. We've hit it again. Boy, this is a fidgety scenario. This is a super fidgety scenario of just maintaining the balance on all of this. Now, I don't want to stop fleshing out this island here. And while I'm saying that out loud, I'm, I'm seeing we could be a little bit more decorative here. It doesn't cost us too much more to throw down some trees or some flowers or something like that. How about plants? How about those shrubs that I like? Where do those live? Uh, there we go. Yeah, give me a couple of these and maybe one of those and uh, one of these guys. Yeah, it's only 450, that's fine. So a little, little more decorative around here. And how are we doing here? Nobody has any broad, well, the shopkeeper doesn't have any broad thoughts. How about Kimberly? Scenery is amazing. Bubble tea is really worth the money. That means you're not charging enough for it. I'm not paying that much for toilets. Okay, that's fine. You know what, that's totally cool. I will happily nudge that down a little bit. If that is a problem, I can rectify that very, very quickly. Anyone else have any broad thoughts here? Um, Turbalon was awesome. Yeah, everyone loves Turbalon. Yeah, okay. Um, I know I can charge for toilets. I'm not going to. Well, I, you know, I'm not going to. You know what? I, I've gotten through every other scenario without charging for toilets. And if that may be the thing that's dragging our experience rating down, then let's not even bother. It can't be that much money overall. Does it actually break it down? Speaking of that much money, does it actually break it down into how much money I was making on the toilets? Mm, no, I don't see it anyway. Right, admissions, shop admissions, souvenirs. No, I don't see it. That should show up there. I'd like to know how much money we actually made on the on charging for the toilets for the brief time that we did it. And just doing yet another round of bumping every price up just a tiny little bit. How about a little bit more for the park entrance fee? Because if we can just keep that, that profit is really right on the line. We need a $1,500 profit, $1,567. I need to just keep this nudging up in a positive direction to make sure we keep that goal. Uh, bubble tea, you guys said that was too cheap. Well, I can rectify that. And now it's three bucks and that's all you, you have there is bubble tea. Okay, um, how about over in this side of the park? I don't check this area out that much, but the car rides. Um, and what do people think of the car rides? Nine people wanna go on car rides, fantastic. Nine people can pay a little bit more for car rides. There we go. Uh, things are broken. That is going to lower our experience rating. Do I, oh, see now, now with that delicate balance of 1567 taking on another wage, is exactly what I don't want to do. There's, I've got a ton of mechanics, don't I? I've got a lot of mechanics. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch. They're, they're all doing things. Everyone's going places and I see many of them are wandering around. That means they've got nothing to do. Go do the thing that's broken. How about what small things could I slap down here? Actually, small things, I've, I've got enough for another ride. I got plenty for a ride right now. What if we not put up, if anything? Inverted dark ride, oh yeah, that is, that's track ride, that's gonna, that's gonna be some money and a half. It's 1800 and then some. What do we possibly not 
Oh, yeah, that's broken. All right, somebody will get over there. Somebody's going to get over there. It's, it's all going to be fine. What could we put up that might be kind of small and quick to build? That would be ideal. Nothing. I could put up a second Turbolon if it's that popular, but I feel that's a little excessive. Boy, I really wanted to play around with the monorail in this this little scenario here, but um, bumper boats we can't really do, and, and paddle boats I'm not going to do for... For well, because I hate paddle boats, but mostly we don't have the space in here. These these water things are not big enough to get the animation in. Carousel is broken. Somebody will get over there. All right, I need something to go down in here that's going to bring people over here, flesh this area of the island out, and I kind of feel it's going to... I mean, I've got four grand now. It's going to have to be some kind of coaster, some kind of track ride, maybe even just something simple like Junior Coaster. We actually haven't done that. Let me see what I could do with Junior Coaster over here, just a small coaster, just sort of an up and down kind of thing. Let's see what I can do with this. Well, it may be the world's dullest roller coaster, excitement low, intensity low, low nausea, which is very good, decoration low, I can work on that. It may be a very, very boring roller coaster, but it's in there, and I was able to squeeze it in there with this little sort of turny bit here that seems to be about the most exciting part of this thing, and, and it works. Uh, this was also rather a fidgety little area to build in as well. So let's put the queue uh here let's put your entrance over here and i'll i'll make you a tunnel to get in and out of there you guys don't worry about that i'll make that happen so give me a regular path please let's go there and then let's go deep underground here um actually do i need to do that can i just bring that hmm let me have a little think about that. Let me just figure out how this tunnel's gonna go. Okay, so a slightly awkward exit there, but it'll it'll work, it'll get the job done. And not as long a queue as I might ideally like for this, but what the heck, it is what it is. Let's, uh, well, s start by charging a little more for that. I think you can do 350 for that. Uh, yeah, the usual, let's actually just take that down to 75 and let's make sure people are getting over here pretty quickly if we could, please. You can certainly wait for your until you're full because you've only got the two stations on you. So, all right, all things being equal, go ahead and turn that on. See if anyone wants to ride on Junior Coaster. It's very boring, but it's there. It's a thing people can enjoy, so they got that going on for them. Now I kind of need to pretty this area up, and I feel there's more I could do in the central part of this location here. I feel this could be better. Certainly need to start decorating it, because I don't want the low decorative value here to start dragging us down. Carousel is broken. Somebody will get over there. I promise you. Somebody will get there eventually. How about some trees we haven't really done anything with, like these guys? You can probably fit a bunch of these around in here. And how about one that's completely purple for no readily explainable reason? Boy, these trees are a little bigger than I want them to be. There we go. I can fit one right in there. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Well, the coaster works. That's that's about as good as I can hope for with my Park Attack coasters. It does technically work. Do you have any broad opinions of what you just went through there? You're not paying that much for Junior Coaster. Okay, I can rectify that. That's fine. I will lower the price. Your wish is my command, Pirate Hat person. Your wish is my command. I know it's very boring. I totally get it. I, I, I per probably would not want to ride on Junior Coaster, truth be told. I think Junior Coaster needs the water tower. I don't know why. Water tower is one of my favorite decorations, so we can definitely throw that in there. What's in medium that we may or may not have? Entrance booth? I don't feel we, we need that. You can have a clock, though. You can have a clock so you can tell how long you've been waiting for a very, very boring roller coaster. And maybe some rocks just to kind of round it all off a little bit here. Maybe that guy lives there and maybe another one lives kind of right in the middle. And then I'll 
start working on maybe some trees or flowers. You know what, I'll do that when it stops raining and I can actually see what I'm doing. The other thing while I'm thinking about it that came up, because I'm thinking about Turbalon, that came up in the Parkitect live stream was why do we have TVs? Um, why do the TVs exist? And the broad answer that came in was just to make guests happy. But as this is a path attachment and a queue is technically a path, if I put some TVs in the Turbalon path, would that, because the line is so long, would that make people happier standing in line? I feel that it would. I feel that's going to help. They have something to do while they're waiting in line. Wow, one week and we've nailed this. That bank balance, though, that 1500 is still really skating the line, though. Any little dip, we could lose the goals again, and then we have to wait another two months to get them back in. So I'm just going to keep prettying up this area. And I think uh, maybe some... I've got an idea. Let's do some fences with say some flowers inside oh no those are like the jurassic park fences i don't want those give me the little trellisy guys yeah one of those and that and that and that it's gonna be like a little garden area in here that's what i'm kind of seeing here so oh a tv program had a segment about powered coaster that's probably going to really benefit us that's probably going to be the thing that just keeps us above the edge if people are going to come in for that so yeah like a little gardeny area i'm going to start to build over here although we've only got a few days left let's just see if we can hold on to that 1541 a 41 dollars is the make or break number right now i definitely need to decorate this more and had i thought about it a little more in advance i probably should have made the coaster go over the whole island and then put all of the other stuff in the middle of the coaster that would have maximized my space just run the tracks all along the outside of this island and then put all of you know turbine and the shops and all of that right inside yes yeah, see we just dipped 1482 well bugger bugger now we kind of got to start that goal again well that's fine i'll just keep prettying up this area well, we're back there again, and now we've got another two months to kind of let this kick along. I'm going to hire another janitor because I'm still seeing a lot of trash that is not getting picked up. So go ahead and grab that if you could, please. I would certainly appreciate that. In fact, maybe, where, where are my tunnels in relation to all this? The tunnels should be basically right there. I could throw a small, tr well, a small, the only trash chute in there, and that would probably help with that. Oh, yeah, the tunnels are literally right there. That would be no big deal to put a trash chute in there. Let me start organizing this because basically I'm just sort of month by month. We're there. We're not there. We're there. We're not there. We keep going up and down and up and down. So I'm just kind of ticking along until we can hopefully get close to the end because there's not not a heck of a lot else for me to do here in Archipelago. I, I get, I've, I'm always going around and gently nudging prices up. I want to keep the profits high and nudging prices down where people say they're not happy with the price of something. Apparently bubble tea is dirt cheap in most people's minds. So I nudge that up a fair bit. Maybe another info kiosk. That would just be one more thing people can buy. But now we're suffering on the experience rating. So, oh boy, this is a fidgety, fidgety scenario with a very delicate balance here. Well, we're back at it again, and I'm just going to hire another security guard. And how about just another entertainer, just for fun? How about another shark entertainer needs to live there? I think we can float the wages at this point. I've got the trash chute set up over here. Hopefully that will help the maintenance guys to get the trash away faster. Security and new entertainer on the job. They can kind of just go wherever. I see the mechanic is doing something with the roller coaster over here. The world's possibly most boring roller coaster. Speaking of which, while I've got five grand and I have nothing really else to do with it, what are we like on our, our decoratives over here? Because I can decorate the bejesus out of this place. Um, that is what down here? Is that trash? Maybe something vandalized? or vomit. You know what? It's one of those things and somebody will get over there apparently in a reasonably near amount of time. So yeah, I could definitely poke around with this area over here, see what we can do with making this a little bit nicer for folks. They do want something to look at while they're going around the roller coaster. Let's see if I can accommodate that.
that we're plugging along back on track here. Three weeks to hold these goals and we'll have finally completed this. And really all I've done for the past few game months is just add things as I think of them. So this has gotten a little floral over here. It's uh, sort of got a jungly theme going on right now. I put a bunch of the water decorations in, you know, the water, added an info kiosk over here, and then I just started doing fences everywhere. Now, everything's getting a fence right now. Fence there, fence there, fences all over here. Everybody's getting fences. It's fences a go-go. You know what this place needs? A fence. Actually, what this place might need is a toilet. That would be a pretty good spot for one of those. Really haven't developed this area. Yeah, I'll throw a toilet in there. That'll probably keep people's experiences up. I mean, people like to have those things. That's not a bad idea at all while I'm looking right at it. Yeah, and I've got the money. I've got nothing but money right now. My money woes are largely alleviated. Uh, shortage of ride parts. You know what? Somebody will learn to cope with that. It'll all be fine, I'm sure. And you can go there. There we go. Let's just get some regular old toilets going on here and pretty that up a little bit. Well, so far so good. We've only got one week to hold on to these goals and we will have done it, I hope. Just trying to keep that experience rating up. This is really a finicky scenario It's and it's all about the balance. If you, you go up in one place, you go down in another, It's it's really... A much tr I knew it was going to be a tricky scenario. There was no illusion about that, but it's a lot trickier than I thought it would be to maintain the weird balance between money and experience and all of this stuff. you got to kind of keep an eye on absolutely everything, but that's fine. That's totally fine. That's what we're here to do is play some park attack. So I need the whole wall for you, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Give me that and that and that and that please yeah you live there and then i just need the big thingamajiggy that goes in there it's a highly technical term it's definitely not that one uh that one that is looks exactly oh god we just got reset we must have just briefly briefly dipped on experience oh that is frustrating that is super, super frustrating. Now I've got to hold this for another two months. Whew. Okay. I don't suppose I could get credit to Parkitect for like all the many, many weeks when I was at goal. No? Okay. Well, what seems to be really dragging us down is thirst. Hunger is a little bit down, but thirst seems to be the problem. I, I have put so many beverage stands around here. It's a little silly. There's tons of places for people to get something to drink but okay fine that's fine maybe i can wedge a few more in here somewhere specifically right here um all of you guys all of you guys right here you need to leave um, i'm taking all of this away it's okay you can you can come back later there'll be a path there'll be some things it'll all be fine but I need to see if I can squeeze a drink stand. I also turned the research back on because I can afford it right now. And I put them back onto shops. Maybe we can research another drinks thing. So fruit juices, that's all I got for you guys. That is literally all I have for you. Uh, where does the path? I need this to... How am I going to make this work? How about... This is not going to look as nice as I want it to look. Well... Something fun has happened. I've found out what happens if you delete a path over water while there are people on it. The snowman and the pirate and Robin Hood here are all having a very, very hard time swimming. They're not very good at it. Probably that latex foam snowman hat is not helping you in the slightest. Does that help? No, I think you're actually just going to die there. Sorry, I'm trying to build you a fruit juice stand. You can't stand in the way of progress. Oh, Edward Rose has in fact drowned. I killed my first guest, and Casey Lopez, and I'm sure Robin Hood's going to be next in line. That's probably not going to help with the whole experience rating. That's I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say people may be a little fussy that we've killed a few folks. Just a thought. Just throwing that idea out there. I've never killed someone in Parkitect before. I'm glad I can do that. That's good to know. Um, sorry. Sorry. I, you know what? If you just let me meet my goal earlier, we may have avoided this horrible tragedy. 
But here we are, and I'm building you a fruit juice stand, because that's what you desperately, desperately require. Well, many, many game months later, we've unlocked Vending Machine. With the research team back on, I jacked up their budget. I flew up their budget to like over $1,000 a month so they could fly through a couple of things. That's why we're so deeply in the hole in terms of profit right now. It was all going to the research team. But we've unlocked Vending Machine. I was able to squeeze one in here, and it does seem to be very, very popular. So um, you guys are always complaining about drinks. Let's get this soda up to about two dollars and let's bump these chips up too they also researched pizza i was hoping they'd do another drink beverage thing but the vending machine may kind of hold us in the meantime and i also threw down a depot over here knowing that they were going to research more shops i renegotiated this path over here so it kind of goes in and out and in and out and in and out but long story short i wanted to put down those new shops over here and that's not what I wanted to do I wanted to do this so if we put say some now where am I gonna put the employee path though that's the thing I do want the employee path in here somewhere how the heck am I going to do that hmm may have a little quick think about that well, once again, we're in the running. I only have to hang on to these scores for another week. I've been cramming stuff in wherever I can. I got another vending machine down in here. Somebody is stocking that up momentarily. Apparently some of them are stocked. I again went through and nudged up all the prices on everything. I feel I've just... All right, double Ferris wheel is broken. That's fine. I'm, I'm hoping that double Ferris wheel can hold on for a couple of days here because we're really, really close to the end. I, I feel I've crammed as much in as I humanly can into Archipelago Adventures here. Again, if I, if I had to do it all over again, I probably would not have done this coaster like this. Um, there's, there's usable space that I just made very, very fidgety to work with by putting the coaster exactly where I put it. And we're off goal again. We're off goal again. Well, a nearby theme park has closed, drawing more visitors to me. That is super. And what I think I'm going to do is just not build anything at all. Not even a tree or a patch of flowers. I'm just going to not build anything at all. I'm just going to let this ride, probably go off and make a sandwich or something and have lunch and see if we can get to goal and hold the goal without building anything else. I, I feel, you know, obviously everything I build is just lowering our overall profit for the month, so I'm kind of just hurting myself. And I don't even know what else I could throw in here, although what I will do, just because I see that popping up more often, is get another mechanic on site here. And you can also just kind of free roam, go wherever you need to go. So yeah, I'm just going to let it ride and go get lunch and see if we can get our goals under control. Well, we're back in the home stretch again, down to a few days to win. I built nothing. I have built not even a blade of grass have I put down in this park right now. I just want to see if maybe that's what can just squeak us over these last few days that we always stumble over. Just please, people, just please like the place and please spend your money here. I, oh, God, we did it. Thank you. Holy moly, Archipelago Adventures was a finicky one. Oh boy, that was a long, long scenario. And it was only long because of the bouncing back and forth. We're up, we're down, we're up, we're down. But we did it. We finally did it. Archipelago Adventures finished. Got nowhere near our, um, our, our optional goals. No, no, didn't even cover those at all. Well, I mean, we got a couple of them, but we certainly did not do all of this by the end of year, uh, June year three. No, no, it's year eight here in Archipelago. It's year eight, but we finally got it. I don't know what else I could have done besides buying more land and making the park much, much bigger, which I certainly have the money to do at this point, but was able to squeeze everything in here did the very best I could to maximize space. I'm not, I know I've said it, but I'm not super happy with the way this last island came out. I think I could have done better over there. It started off really good, and then the coaster kind of messed everything up for me, but we got it. We finished Archipelago Adventures. We can move on to the next scenario 
in Parkitect, and I will see you guys there. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, consider hitting that subscribe button and you can see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Anyone want to get the head out of the hot tub? Did you want to maybe pull this head out of the hot tub? That's not sanitary, guys. That is not okay. That's a health code violation in the mansion.